All right, well, now we have to read patch notes. Of course, with the new season coming in less than 20, in about 20 minutes or so from now, uh, Red Faction, we are going to be the patch notes for everything that's coming in this season. So, let's dive right in. So, Destiny Update 7.1 Seasons of the Deep Activities Crucible. Supremacy has been added to the Rentless rotation. Supremacy will go live the fourth week of Season of the Deep. Supremacy d uses the standard connection-based matchmaking does not provide any enhanced super regeneration on crest pickup. Go wild, don't be scared. Um, Lord checks a special treat for any guardians who have completed their competitive division placement matches and are silver three or above. The Season 20 Ascendant Emblem is no longer available to purchase and has been re replaced with the new Season 21 Emblem. Trials of Osiris. The game mode for Trials of Osiris is moving from Elimination to Dominion. The intro quest has been updated to better serve on the onboarding path to Trials. It offers new players a reward for completing it. The Flawless Pool will no, act no longer activate on Sunday, and the Challenger and Practice Soft Pools will be active all weekend. Soft means that the matchmaking initially prefers not to blend the pools, but will, if necessary, to find a good game quickly. If you're on your first game of the week or playing on a card with a loss record on it, you'll be placed in the practice pool. The practice pool utilizes weekly performance and connection-based matchmaking. If you're playing on the flawless card or playing with someone on the flawless card, you'll be placed in the challenger pool. The challenger pool utilizes only connection-based matchmaking. Matchmaking no longer filters by wins on a card. An issue has been corrected that was causing lobby balancing to exist in solo and duo trials matches. All players in the challenger pool will have their own skill overwritten with the same value to effectively randomize the lobbies. Going flawless for the first time this season will now award a seasonal flawless shader for any piece of gear. The Passage of Mercy will now forgive two losses if you have not been flawless for the week. If you have gone flawless, the Passage of Mercy will revert to a single loss for subsequent attempts. The Passage of Wealth now grants a, trial, a bonus trial's rep reputation on all wins. Bonus in amount increases on the proportion of your major trials rank. After going flawless for the week, any 7 win card, regardless of whether the card is flawless or not, will have a chance to drop the weekly adept weapon. This bonus reward was previously exclusive to the flawless pool starting on Sunday, but will now be active all weekend and does not require you to be in a specific pool. The chance of gaining an adept from a win will be slightly has been reduced to account for the duration and availability of the bonus. The gilded flawless requirements have been updated. A new emblem has been added to reward for going flawless without ever trailing in any wins on the card. New Muna Free Roam. Upgrade super slash ability kills on patrol to a gold patrol to better reward players, especially an issue where some strand kills were not counting on the patrol progress. Raids. Last Wish, Deepstone Crypt, Vow Disciple, Vault of Glass, and King's Vault have all had exotic drop chance boosters added to several triumphs. Completing these triumphs has given the chance of the initial exotic of when killing the final raid boss. Fiction issue where players would sometimes crash during the final encounter against orcs. Fiction an issue where players would be able to kill Nezarak and ruin nightmares during his last stand wipe animation. Fix an issue where players with navigating uh, strand grapple would sometimes soft block the traversal of the microchasm counter and ruin nightmares. Adjust to the tracking of Nezarak's uh, thing, some characters will travel in higher than intended and make it difficult for players to see on the screen. Made them travel slightly more horizontal to be better predictable. Fix an issue where players were, were players progressing backwards in room nightmares to the hidden chest location. Um, encounter space would see Cavum of Nezarak in the T pose and be unable to defeat it. Fiction issue with some visual effects will not present when completing the nodes and traversing encounters in Ruin Nightmares. Fiction issue where Needlestorm would push the boss for Spider the Watcher away from the playable spaces. Fiction issue where when the player class well would do more than intended uh, damage against Perseus and Spider the Watcher. Fiction issue where the Rally Banner would sometimes remain active after starting Siren's encounter. Fiction issue where Perseus would sometimes be indefinitely staggered by some weapons. Fiction issue where 
that well cast would be to do more than intended damage against them. Reduce the da from times two damage to 1.5 if you're the caster of the well. Wyverns typically receive more damage from supers by design, but it's not designed to have this much damage intake for a boss. Fix an unintended interaction between sandbox abilities and defeating combatants that would cause the boss to be deleted. Fix an issue where players would not be able to farm artifice armor and mask the difficulty of Grasp Avarice while it's uh, active in the rotator. Fix an issue with the Spire emblems appeared in raid collections in this category instead of the world collections. Old dungeon trams for solo flawless and solo flawless have been updated to mention it must be done with without leaving the activity in our first count. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so UI fixes. Uh, these new better inspection screens. Um, loadout changes. Okay. The journey page. Fix an issue where the active crash score did not fit in line with the triumph page. Fix an issue where those held deer emblem is not displaying correctly upon hovering. Visual indicator on the top of the title of the seal when it has unclean objectives. Tweak the visual indicator for tracking objectives. Okay. Some armored tuning. We already talked about this. We're going to go straight to the Warlock. Um, now, these different takedowns with chromatic fire will now do these things with each of the weapons as well. Um, Donkoros, the projectiles will deal more damage. Daybreak da damage is no longer limited to scorched enemies. Um, Mental Battle Harmony got a really nice buff. Ophidian, they took away the melee range, which, good, I don't need it. Uh, Nerf to Starfire Protocol. Bunch of stuff with mods. Full Auto Melee is now available. Weapon Reticle changes and Weapon Crafting Archetypes. Um, snipers have better PvE damage. Um, I don't think there was anything about, yeah, reduce the base range stat, reduce the base damage on aggressive frames, but increase the precision, so if you're more precise, it's better. Bows, things there. Um... Where is it? talked about it yeah fiction issue that caused it to recoil like an auto rifle making it harder to control the recoil battle would now be similar to other pulse rifles this gun just got good oh other stuff um perks changes um was not showing had an issue suppressing its countdown timer addressed and the countdown window was visible in the tray Okay, subclass stuff. Stormcaller is getting a PVE increase. That means that's great. Chaos Reach is getting one. Increase the strafe meter so you can better strafe. Now it creates Jolt Lightning at the location. So Geos is kind of back on the menu. Um, if you don't want to be, you know, if you have a bunch of Warlocks running together. Ball Lightning is, be is better. Um, art grenades, speed booster changes, jolt changes, solar stuff, void walker, um, chaos accelerant has a higher fragment slot, a charge scatter grenade, um, charge magnetic grenade, no, stasis, uh, stasis warlock. Uh, didn't get looked at. No, oh, there's Shadebinder. Increased PvE damage. Now grants a 2.5 meter additional melee target search and lunge for on rift activation. Hmm. Okay. Um, Broodweaver, reduce the physics acceleration to reduce instances of bosses flying, 
decrease the cooldown on how many charges the, the player has stored. At zero charges, the cooldown is at 15. At two, it's down to 30. Um, slowing down, increase the speed um, for each of them. Increase its tracking, preventing it from granting a fourth arcane needle. Could rapidly initiate unpowered melee back to back while jumping while arcane was equipped. Grapple cooldown is now even lower. Um, fixing an issue allowing players to mount sparrows while grappling. Come on, dude. Why? That was such a good thing. And you just took it away. Took it away. Issue of you know, provided by some damage over time mechanics. Um, provided by trace rifles. Fixing the issue that could start players remaining first person after picking up a new tangle quickly after throwing one. Update the placement of tangle carry objects. Feathering final blows create a tangle. Tangles you throw and attach enemies detonating to a suspending burst. Um, Titan got a good one. Hunter's got a good one. Warlock kind of got a mad one. Um, these ghost shells will now support trials flawless glows when you've gone flawless. These will support it. These will support it. Finishers. Now display their stasis and strand variants, improving them in every restore and section screens. Uh, power and progression. We added exotic focusing. Bounties and pursuits. All that. Um, faction rewards will now. Faction chests will now drop glimmer and XP. Add Neo Muna weapons as a drop chance when completing heroic public events. Reduce Neo Muna drop chance from VIP patrols. Any finest mana reeves or rainmakers, you can just get, you know, one enhancement core or three thousand glimmer. Um, Triumphs and titles, guarding ranks. If you're a veteran player who has never played a uh, guarding ranks, you know reset at that. All seasonal blue guarding ranks changes are reset and must be completed again. One season, commemorations. I had the best dress accommodation card to the Ironwood Tree in the Tower. Hmm. General changes. Some the German Saint Fourteen has now been permanently recast. Huh. Daily deal system has been retired, so there's a new feature one. Good Blade Protocol is back. Artifacts can now be refunded. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, we'll give this up. Uh, the update should be live, so we'll be live over on Twitch Red Faction. So with that being said, I will see you guys and we'll get this up. Peace.